crystal bottled in majestic mountains. Liquid death mountain water will murder your thirst. Hello, hello. Uh, there we go. Oh, Hi. Jesus. There we are. Hello, happy Sunday. You know, all the money that NVIDIA makes off selling RTX 30,000 series graphics cards, you would think they would put a little more money into making RTX voice not silently fail. Ha <laughs> ha. Silently. Ha. <laughs> I didn't even mean that. Joke. Oh, you didn't? I thought for sure that was on purpose. No. Oh my god. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another installment of the Julie and Justin show. Let's try to put my name first. <laughs> um, I'm not going to fight. Because I wore a dress today. It's true you did. Mm -hmm. ah, but... I am upset because my hair looks really, really bad today. Are they there? You have one cat on the cat cam. I don't know about this angle. Can't really see anything. <laughs> Hi, the buck one. Ooh. Hi, Sam. So here we are. Go ahead, Jules. Okay. Um, I hope everybody that's American had a lovely Thanksgiving. We had an okay Thanksgiving. It was nice. It was just Justin and I because we are people that actually fucking pay attention to the rules and things to keep the greater good going. Um, Why did you lean in? Because it was important. Oh. It's funny though because she's not leaning towards the mic. Just to the camera. But if I lean towards the mic, it's like this. We need that thing that Danica has where it like zooms in. Every time she makes like a like a that's point. so cliche though on Twitch. Like everybody has a button that's like zoom in on my face. Oh well. Anyways, we didn't even cook. So we cook like every freaking night. It's part of our like quarantine routine. Routine. Okay. <laughs> Foreign, foreign routine? Uh. Yeah, because you can't because they both end in teen. Yeah, it doesn't really so work. So if you combine quarantine and routine, you just get quarantine. Anyways, uh, we cook at- Peru quarantine. That's worse. No, that works. Go with it. That's worse. I'm going to stand by it. Um, We cook every single for you. We get maybe like one night off. We give ourselves like maybe one night off a week. I usually get crimp legs. But- so anyways, we cook every freaking night, and we, we did a Thanksgiving last weekend. We drove out to the desert, saw his mom. Uh, anyway, so I really just didn't feel like making a whole bird. He doesn't even really eat meat. He doesn't eat meat. He might make, like, an exception, but he doesn't eat meat. And I didn't feel like making all that shit for just two people, so I actually did something I never do. Which is, we just never, never, ever. <laughs> wow, you sound like home in Indiana. Oh, God, that's, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> home for me sounds like a Spanish accent. Um, never. No? Never. I can't do it. I can't do accents at all. 
That's. I think you just need to practice. You yeah. have to. You you hear it on TV and then you just replicate it. You hear me do it all the time when people say things. I think my time is better them. spent working on Doom Trooper. I'll just say that. Well, then you wouldn't be feeling this way right now. Um, Something you never do. Never do is just like ordered food from like the supermarket and picked up turkey and sides and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So did that. Um, we ate at like, like most Americans do, we ate at like late lunchtime instead of, you know, it's like early dinner, late lunch for Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, so super low key. And then Black Friday happened. Today is what, Sunday? So two days ago was Black Friday. I don't know if the death count, if there was a death count this year. I feel like there still would be a death count. I think it would be COVID related. So Black Friday, I love what you said in the announcement channel is perfect. People just line up and wait for the store to open to buy a TV or some other shit. And people get trampled and die. And every year there is like a number. There's like, oh, like seven people died on Black Friday. And that's the Black Friday death count, which was also our trivia name for like years. We, we were Black Friday death count. Um, and um, yeah, I don't know that any stores were really open this year to do that in person. Thank God. Um, not in LA County. No, I know, but like there are other parts of the country where you know the virus doesn't happen. So Thorgal asked her questions. See, this is what it's like when you talk and you see people ask questions. Thorgal says, How was the previous Sunday? What happens in the desert stays in the desert. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't that kind of trip this time, but um, my mom that's my mom true. moved out to the desert um, almost two years ago. No. Year and a half ago or so. Um, Wait, no, it was a year and a half. Ago. From Indiana, yeah, just to get away from you know Indiana. Indiana. And right after she moved out here, uh, she's like three, three and a half hours from us. Uh, right it's when just she, enough. Yeah, just long enough. Uh, Mom, no, if you're here, I'm no, sorry. No, I mean like the drive is like just long enough that you have to like commit yeah. to like making. But she drive. moved out here right before COVID hit, basically. So I hadn't seen her in a year, uh, which is crazy. And she hasn't been feeling well, and she has been, you know, she lives by herself. So we decided to make a little bit of an exception and drive out there to the desert and sit outdoors, you know, as far away as possible and eat food together and, and visit just because it's been so long. And, you know, I know it's, in my opinion, it's bad for anyone to make exceptions, but we, you know, we took all the precautions that we could and... Uh, the bottom line is like, you know, parents are getting old and you definitely don't want something to happen to them. And you say, well, I could have went out and socially distanced, saw them and I didn't, and I never got to see them again or something along those lines. Uh, my dad and her dad live in Florida, which makes, which makes this a lot more difficult. How do we go and see them safely as they get older during COVID when they're all the way in Florida and we're definitely not going to take a plane. And if we are, we're definitely not going to take a plane to Florida. Where everybody is just like, yeah, no masks, fuck it, let's hang out. So the land of no rules. Yeah. No land. rules or guidelines. My home state. Um, but it was nice to to take a break, you know, to like be outside instead it was of nice being. Nice to literally see something different in front of my eyes. Yeah. I see. <laughs> I see. These, I see these monitors every day, for hours and hours. Hi, Brian. Um, I was like in the middle of a story and then you interrupted me and then you just told your own story. And I don't remember what I was even saying. There's something about something Thanksgiving. About you never. 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 Well, that was, I said, I ordered dinner from, Gel going? Letting you tell your story. Uh, anyways, I ordered food from Gelson's. Like I said, it was like a, for two. Thanksgiving for two. I, can you come back now, please? Tell your story. That was the whole story. Because you interrupted me. So I don't remember where I was in that story. Oh, I was talking about Black Friday. I was way past Thanksgiving. I was talking about Black Friday. The point is, the point of that story was leading to the fact that there is a Black, out, Black Friday death count avatar available in the store. 
that was the whole point of the story. That's what I was working my way up to. Um, it is similar to the previous Black Friday. The previous now one was updated as well. So it just doesn't exist anymore? Yeah. Oh. So, so it if isn't... you had it, if you have it, you have it. You don't have to get the new one because... Right, but the new one comes with a free pack of cards. Okay. For people who already had it, I figured they would want something for free. Brian. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, okay, so it's uh, it's like black on black, but it's a skull. It's a skull that's black on black. And it's animated. And, I, and it's animated. I was getting there. Um, and it's animated. And it's animated. <laughs> also, it's animated. Um, and apparently it comes with a free pack. So, so the running joke in Discord, if you missed it, is it's, uh, I still can't, it's still too dark, but... Now it's animated and too dark. <laughs> <laughs> it's there. You might not be able to see it. It really but there's a skull there. It really just depends on your monitor. Like if you have, I mean, no offense, if you have a shitty monitor, it's just gonna look like a black square. Uh, if you have a really good monitor, you're gonna see the gray skull fairly clearly. Um, it's an interesting dilemma. But oh shit! Speaking of an interesting dilemma, here comes one of our. It's cats. also fun. The first picture that we posted of it, we had to take down because it had a green border around it, and if you put a bright green border on the outside of the avatar, I guess the human. Oh, cat! No, sorry, he just saved a fucking file on my computer. I don't even know what he just did. Uh, if you put a green border around it, like it does in the game. The human eye like sees the bright green border and it makes it harder to see the light gray skull. It's weird. So we had to repost it without the green border, which made it easier to see for the human eye, strangely. <laughs> um, the wife can't see anything in hers. It's fucking there. I think we have updated that avatar three times. I think that's more than any other avatar. You need a sip of coffee. What happened? <clears throat> what happened? Um, that's more than any other avatar we've ever created. So it is funny that that avatar gets patched like twice a year, three times a year. It is there. I know, but I had, I was trying to post on social media yesterday and I was just like, oh my God. I was like, what am I? Honestly though, like, I don't necessarily mind that it's hard to see. That's why I haven't made a priority to change it because there's something cool about just a black square as an avatar. I don't know. Like you don't get more metal than that. It's so hard to see, but you can see it on the post I put up on social media yesterday. It's there. Yeah. It is there. I will probably lighten it up eventually, but I like it. I like just having a black avatar. I think it's cool. Oh, what is happening with that? With what? This, the, the avatar just threw something up in the air. Oh, you're farting stars. And no, it wasn't me. Again. It wasn't me. It was, it was someone else. It just threw me off because it like went up really high over my face. Did I did put a filter on my Instagram post because it was so hard to see. So I didn't know that and I did not approve that. Are you gonna yell at me? He's fixed his eyes on the, the, the stream deck like he's gonna <sighs> Are you serious? <laughs> Oh, man. Anyways, yeah, I did that. I put a filter on it because it was so hard to see. <laughs> on a lighter note, I ordered one of Julie's Christmas presents today. <gasps> what? But don't tell her. You know what to get me for Christmas. You yeah. haven't even like, asked me about things. Yeah, we're married. Well, that's cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a Thorkel, so Doom Trooper. Are we were talking about the icon, the avatar, rather. Yeah, Excuse Thorkel, me. we were talking about Doom Trooper. Jesus, man. Cool. Got a Christmas present, you guys. Doom Trooper. There it is. There it is. Myth, the legend, the game. Um, I don't think I've shown the the dots. The dots on a Sunday stream. Here they are, guys. Here are the dots. I, I still think it's good and white. Yeah, so yeah. we added dots um, underneath the cards to show how many you have. 
there is an interesting dilemma right now because uh, I think Steve is in here. I don't know if he's got audio on. Um, but when Steve and I designed the game, we wanted to go against the norm where you can only have three or four of every card. Um, the In a whole deck? No, just total in your collection. Because you never, you can only put three in a deck usually of each card, so you don't need more than three. So okay. getting more is, is, is dumb. Um, and that leads into cards like the Undead Legionnaire, which allows you to have an unlimited amount of them. Uh, the problem with that, obviously, is if you play other CCGs, it, uh, it's nice to know that you'll never get more than three or four of a card, and then that will be removed from the pool, and you'll get cards you need instead of cards you already have. Uh, but the original design of the game from with Steve and I is we wanted to put some super rare variant card uh, behind the crafting system where you need 10 of a certain card to craft a variant card. So... With ten, the, uh, 10 of a certain card to craft a variant card. Yeah. So right now, where I'm at is the first test is going to allow you to have 10 of every card. Uh, technically, I think it allows you to have an unlimited amount of every card right now, but that'll change because we'll do resets. Uh, and then we will go under the impression that the unlimited keyword will stick around and that the, the secret variant cards will remain in the game. However, uh, it's open for discussion and feedback as people, as people start playing. And I do want to speak to Thorgal um, maybe even later today, but right now the plan, I realize it's not that scary of a deal since we're still doing uh, resets of cards, is the starter decks, or at least two of the starter decks, you when you when your collection is reset, you are given on December 1st all of the cards for the starter decks. So you get those for free. And then you get to open your packs on top of that. Uh, so the reset will actually clear all your cards except variants. Then it will give you back your packs and it'll grant you all the cards in the starter deck. So that's how the reset works. I am toying with an idea where everybody gets you mean the reset that happens in just like Tuesday, but, it'll, but you can trigger a reset twice a month technically. Right. Um, I'm also toying with the idea in code. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm trying to give everybody 20 bonus packs. Uh, but I need to make it clear that those packs are not part of your final collection. Those are like ephemeral test packs, if that makes sense. Because I want to make sure that if a new player joins, he has they, they, ninety-eight male, two percent female, have uh, like Missy is the card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bless her. Yeah. Ninety-nine people playing uh, monthly plus Missy. So thank you, Missy. Bless her for being like the lone uh, female player in Doom Trooper. Yeah. So obviously, by January first. Um, by January 1st, what we will be doing is... Oh god, Thorgal thinks it's too confusing, then we're fucked. Well, right, but hear me out, Thorgal. By January 1st, there'll be a new tutorial and a new new, new player quest. New, new. So you'll be able to come in and you'll be able to do like starter quests, like play a practice game, uh, play one online game, complete the tutorial, stuff like that. And you'll be able to earn, say, 10, 20 packs, whatever it is, to like get you started. But since that's not ready yet, we have the problem when a new player comes in, they will just have the starter decks and we're kind of asking them at that point to spend money. And we don't want to turn off new player. So that's the dilemma. Like how do we make new players feel the same like fun that they had so far without saying you have to play these starter decks against Thorgal? Because Obviously, a lot of people play the starter decks against Thorgal and lose. Obviously. So that's the biggest unknown that I have so far. Hmm. It is confusing, but I think the main point to stick with is this Tuesday, everyone's cards refresh. But you said they get to keep any, like, variants that they? Yeah, variants you always get to keep. Okay. 
Um, so I'm just gonna, I just ran the reset collection server, and then I'll refresh the game. So on Tuesday, you would log in, and you would have, just, just let me talk through this. You would have no cards. Sure. Okay. You would have, but, but, and obviously you would just have a bunch of packs. Packs to be opened, no cards in your deck, except for, like, variants? No. Not at all. Okay. Okay. Hey, your sister followed. Hi, Allie. Um, oh, yeah, okay. So, so, so break that down very simplified again for us people that aren't smart. So I don't know anybody who's not smart. I'm just playing, obviously. I'm a fucking genius. So when you log in, this is what you'll see. You get to meet the trencher, and he tells you that we've begun testing the pack system, and you used to have access to all cards, but now you can open packs to build more advanced decks. Uh, he tries to explain how resets work. People will just click through this and not read it and then write us a bad review. Well, right, but there's also- Who the fuck have it on my cards? But there's also going to be another one that's harder to skip after this. And there's going to be a pink banner across the top. So, and when you click onto the collection and go into cards, it's gonna say it again. So if they skip all of those, they can just quit. I don't, yeah. Okay, so what would this page look like then? Exactly like this. this but is this a, has all these the cards. This I is mean. a brand new account. Okay, so these are starter cards. These are cards that are in the starter deck, which currently only gives Algaroth. I'm still deciding which starter decks to give. Okay. Uh, oh, Thorgal said, when can we buy packs with coins? Uh, Tuesday. Okay. So this is the starter deck. Or money. Or TBD. There will be a starter deck. It might not be this one. Okay. Yeah, there'll probably so, be two starter decks. So you have this, and then you have all of the packs that you are to open. Is it in opening those packs that you get those variant cards back? Why are you stuck on variant cards? I don't know, because this is the part that I don't understand, I guess. The only people who have variant cards are Kickstarter backers. Okay, right. So for those Kickstarter backers, what's the what's the process look like? Where do those no. variant cards live once they'll, the reset they'll, happens? They'll still be there. In their deck. In their collection. In their collection. Sorry. In their collection, they will keep the variants. Yeah. They'll have a start they'll have the starter deck, they will have their variants, and then they will have packs to be opened. If they have packs. Right. This is a new account, you'll see. They have packs no of packs. Zero, okay. As of right now, which is why I was gonna do the, the twenty bonus pack. So that everybody has something to open and test. Pack, the opening pack system. Yes. And also just so they feel. That better. was the idea that Thorgal didn't like. Um, the other option, which Thorgal might like more, I mean, it makes more sense for, for him, is everybody who plays during the December season gets some free packs or some free coins. So it's basically like, thank you for testing this first one, bearing with us. Here's some free stuff, and you just get to keep them forever. Um, it wouldn't be 20 packs, obviously. It might be like five, but that's probably okay. Okay. I'm also, our, through that. our economy is going to be changing a lot starting on Tuesday, and it'll be changing pretty rapidly. So the prices of rewards are going to be fluctuating. The prices of packs might fluctuate. Um, the problem is, is the packs are going to come out... Um, at a certain coin price, which probably isn't going to be the coin price of final packs in post-beta world. And then people are going to start calculating, okay, well, if a pack costs a dollar and it also costs this many coins, that means each coin is worth X amount of dollars. And then they're going to say, okay, so a title is worth $10. And like, th those numbers aren't going to be accurate. So I'm going to be changing that quite a bit as I balance the economy. There's just, as always, not enough time for me to perfectly balance everything prior to Tuesday. I'm focused more on, as you can imagine, the very complicated code about resetting everything, but not resetting things you don't want to reset. Because that would suck. Like, it, I, it was broken yesterday. I fixed it. I can come in here and say, I, hopefully this works. Oh, God, like, here we go. I want the Imperial deck, right? So I click it. It says it was added to my account, but it's invalid because it's missing 38 cards. So now I can come in here and I can see all the cards that I have versus all the cards that are missing. Okay, wait, what's missing and what do you have? You you have the pink ones? 
Don't give me this look. No, don't do it. No, I'm honestly, I, I'm honestly. Oh, here we go. We're gonna get into a fight because I don't understand his UI. No, I, I would like other feedback. If you're looking at white versus a red color, why? Okay, okay, so did anybody else consider no, that? Okay, so I'm sorry, I see that those are green. So the white and the green is things I have and it's red because like I don't have it. Yeah, like in my opinion, red is always a negative color. In, okay. in every UI except target. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. So okay. I know, but your first impression was red is cards that I have. So I'm like curious. My first impression was I didn't know, to be fair. I just didn't know the answer. So I guess that's a problem in and plus when you highlight it, it tells you. Got it. Okay. I think my eyes just didn't even see the fact that the icons are green on the left. But like I see that now and I'm like, okay, those are green. I didn't even know they were green. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you not know that? Well, I see okay, they're green, that looks good. Um So anyways, you can add new decks now, which we can fill this out. And it doesn't grant you the cards. It will just add the deck to your account, in which case it is capable now of understanding the difference between cards you have and cards you don't have. That's which has cool. been a significant amount of work. Um, I also want to add some messaging at the top here that's like, hey, this adds a community deck to your account, but you may not have all the cards, so it gives you something to build off of. Right, that makes sense. Um, can you scroll through, like, like go to Case Curse of Algaroth? I want to see you like scroll through the three cards that you have. Can you do that? It's the three. So the exact it's just same. the same one. Well, what right. if what if it's like a variant? It would show up next to it. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. So hopefully, there's minimal bugs here. Um, I was smart and remembered that anytime I screw with the collection, the bot breaks. And it's kind of cool. So um, I reset the collection. I don't know if this will work. Uh, where's my file? Let's see. Whoa. Oh, it already did it. Never mind. Um, Brought so, up a page of gibberish. Yeah. So basically, um, when I reset the collections, it reset everyone's collections in the whole game. And the, what that means is it puts a flag on your account that says your account should be reset on your next login. Uh, so then the bot tries to log in and it erases all his cards. So he can no longer play a game, which is bad. Uh, he kind of intelligently now, while the server knows he's a bot, so it says after it resets, it says, okay, he's a bot, he needs all the cards. So it gives him all the cards back. Then- your cat. Cat. Sorry. Cat. Um, so then the bot tries to log in and it will automatically rebuild his decks. But then it sees, because currently he, he doesn't use one of the starter decks. He has a custom deck. So it notices that he doesn't have that deck anymore and it errors when he tries to use it. So then he posts that deck to the server and says, I need this deck, uh, this template. And then it gives him that deck, just like I just showed you on the uh, get new decks button. It basically does that same functionality for the bot for his starter deck. Uh, and then he joins again and it's like, okay, you have that deck and it lets him in. So basically the bot like self heals himself if he doesn't have his cards or he doesn't have his deck or whatever, he is able to survive an account reset, which is nice. Cause that means I don't have to do extra work. I just say reset everybody's account and the bot's like, oh, I need to fix myself. Um, so anybody who's ever coded- If only we could all fix ourselves that easily. Anyone who's ever coded probably like appreciates the, um, the, the term of like self-healing applications. Like he's like, oh shit, I'm in an error state. What do I do? And he, at least in all my testing, corrects himself and joins- like It's a low level AI right there. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. It's not learning. Uh, but it's just really cool that the bot knows he's bad and fixes himself and then joins the lobby and he's ready to play. Back. So I thought of that early. Otherwise I would have reset everything on at like midnight on Monday night and been like, oh shit. And had to like scramble to fix that, which took a couple hours. Uh, so I'm trying to think of everything as I go, basically. Also, Kevin, are you alive? You're here, but are you, are you, are you okay? Kevin, are you okay? 
Are you okay? I don't know why. There's no, like, nothing's happened to him. Like, are you okay? That. I honestly just miss him. Allie just asked me, is it animated? I don't know what that means. I think she's asking if the Twitch stream is moving. I don't even know if she's still here. Waving, hi! Oh, wow. Every time I wear a dress with this type of collar, he just makes Wednesday Adams jokes at me. I said she looked like goth Cher from Clueless. I'm okay with that. <laughs> That's what we did for my 10th birthday. We went and saw Clueless at the movie theater. Not we. She means like her and- Me. Yeah. Me. Um, so also, you guys won't have these, but there's still three packs in the store for testing. Um, it's subtle. We worked yeah. on this on stream, but the packs icon will glow if you're able to open packs and you have packs. I'm sorry, I was like 13, never mind. So it glows a little bit, it's subtle. We tried a bunch of different stuff and it just, it either looked bad or it was annoying. Um, so now it'll glow a little bit. And then I'm gonna be refreshing this a little bit today. Um, it's obviously a little broken with the padding on the bottom and stuff, but you'll be able to come in here and open packs. Uh, they'll animate a little bit. And then over here, if you have a reset button, uh, or if you have a reset token on your account, you'll be able to click it to reset your collection again. Uh, once per month is the plan right now. So that's a little bit of a bonus if this is a new system and the rarity is new and all that. Um, you will be able, if you don't get the cards you want or you just want to try again, you can do a reset every month. And I am able to grant more resets if I want. Um, or if you ask nicely, maybe, you know, at least the first month or two. But the rarity is hooked up. Uh, variants and the bubblegum system are not in this version. It's just going to be a, a flat five cards. But I love the green of Cybertronic. It looks really good. Yeah. I also fixed a bug where the rarity icons weren't showing up on general cards. So it made it really hard to test. We, our rarity skews kind of close to Hearthstone uh, with being a little more generous right now. Uh, that will probably change. Ooh, see, there's a ultra rare. Um, I have a question, but don't, don't get mad at me. Um, is it on purpose that like the little, the little blue gem is smaller than the green gem? Artistic liberty of, of uh, Gary, I guess, when he designed these. Got it. But Oops, Gary. Jackie. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, fuck this Gary. I mean, you called him that the whole time that this game has been a thing. Okay, now I see that they're different, though. I can see that the metal around them is different. And I'm going to add... Um, So I'm gonna add like someone like Brian has 200 packs. So I'm gonna add this to the bot so people can test it. But it's like a test. Uh, oh wait. Uh oh. Hang on, I'm not logged in. Um, says he doesn't. Yeah, I screwed that up. Where's the login? Whoops. I'm logging in. Hmm. Wow, okay, so technical difficulties. You can't log in. No, I can log in. I just don't have permission to use that endpoint anymore. Oh. I must have updated that endpoint so it's admin only. Um, <laughs> Brian has 200 packs? No, he doesn't. Um, I'll tell you how many he has since he's quiet. Thorgle go. Thorgle. There he is. What is that second number? Um. Oh, wait. I don't have packs in my UI. Weird. Never That's mind. I won't tell you. Uh, he has like 160 or something. Somewhere around there. 
So the idea is, um, God damn it, Julie, talk. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, I, uh, I don't know. I'm just putting me on the spot here. I don't, I don't have anything. You can kind of see say. it here. It's like I opened a thousand packs. I posted this in Discord. Oh the yeah. Day. It doesn't change. Yeah. So, fifty-five percent common, thirty-seven, thirty-eight percent uncommon, five yeah. percent rare, two percent ultra rare. Um, that's the breakdown, folks. I don't. Can you even see that on your screen? That is very hard to read. Yeah. Like, on your screen, but it basically has the stats in the bot, the very bottom of that screen that shows whatever you, the breakdown of each card type and how likely it is that you will get that card type. Yeah. So that's the. Um, the percentage for the first draft. Let me see how it goes. Is it warm in here? I think you're just like on. I know, but I have this like long sleeve dress on too. But I remember when I put this dress on, I was like, oh my God, my legs are freezing. And hey, now Michael. I'm like, So, yeah, so this will change a little bit. Um, if all goes well today, when you open a pack, they'll be uh, face down, and then clicking on them will flip them over. You know, typical uh, CCG stuff for a temp UI. The left button here will say open a pack, and then underneath it'll say reset pack, or reset my collection, and get more packs will show up okay. and then I'll put some sort of like rarity key up here so you know like green is common, blue is yeah, uncommon, purple cool. is rare, that kind of thing. Um, but other than that, it'll look mostly like this. And the cat is back. There we go. Okay. Um, I don't know. It's exciting. It's exciting to A, to get to this point where there are packs, there are rarity, uh, there are deck building, there are resets, like it's the, the home stretch. Um, as long as this goes well, the only thing that is missing, what did I say? There's only one major thing. Yeah, one major thing that isn't developed. And now I forgot what it was. I guess it wasn't that important. Yeah. Uh, it might just it might have just been this. Basically we're we're getting to the point now where the only stuff left is just changing existing things that are already there. Excuse me. Um, I don't mean like card type sort, but I mean like uh, game engine things, you know? Like opening packs and rarity and resets, like that was a big task. Tutorial. They're really, yeah, yeah getting a, a tutorial. Okay, guys. <laughs> Here's everything you're missing. Okay, <laughs> all right, I'll be honest here. Vehicles exist, they're in the game. Uh, they're just not in the collection, but they're they're there. Cyber Augments are in the game. I've tested them. They're just not available to you. And Michael is confused uh, because there is definitely a tutorial in the game. It's not so, a great tutorial. No, no. I was saying that there's nothing left that isn't in the game. Okay, it and just Michael, has to be improved upon. Right, and Michael said great. tutorial. I was like, no, there is very clearly a tutorial in the game. There definitely is a tutorial uh, that people skip the fuck over because I've seen it happen. The point that I'm making is that there's nothing in the game that doesn't already exist. All right, Buck, you're, you're fired. <laughs> uh, War Zones are not in the first game. They're in one of the expansions. Uh, yes, Michael, uh, new tutorial. But my point is that the new tutorial is- An improvement on a thing that already exists. Right. So... I'm saying everything that needs to exist at this point I feel like there's one thing I'm forgetting, but everything that needs to exist at this point is is existing in some fashion. fashion. Just might not be great. And moving forward, all we have to do is improve it. So we'll improve the tutorial, we'll improve the quest, we'll improve the progression, we'll improve the rarity, we'll improve the cards, we'll add more cards, obviously. But like, there's no more me freaking out, having to stay up all night, coding new things, new milestones. Like, it's just, improving things we've already got. And that's a huge difference from a, a programming standpoint. Okay, so don't hate me. Stop starting sentences like that. Because <laughs> I know I'm supposed to like know everything. I don't know what a war zone is. Like I know I've heard that term over and over and over again over four years, but I don't actually know what that means as far as like playing the game. Um, 
It's a type of card that isn't in it's the game. It's just a type of card. That what does it mean? Like, what does it do? Um, oh god, he's gonna pause it again on me and yell at me. Well, no, it's... Are you asking what it does in the classic game, or hypothetically what it'll do in the unreleased design for the second expansion? Oh, I don't know. Never mind. I don't know what I'm asking. <laughs> oh my god, I just didn't know. I've, I don't know what a Warzone is. That's all. I know what everything else is that we've talked about. That is just one thing that I'm not familiar with. Michael is determined to prove me wrong here. Uh, no, Michael, the new player experience also exists in the game. That's how a new player can join, and he is given three starter decks, and the tutorial button shows up for him. That exists. It's just not finished. You can keep trying to guess, though, and maybe you'll guess the thing I'm forgetting, but uh, no, that definitely exists. There is a couple hundred... I mean, I probably have it open right now. Whoa. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's moving things around the screen. There are effectively 308 lines of code to set up the new player experience or the login. This is one of the most active code files in the whole game. Your daily quest, your weekly quest, your special quests. If you're a developer, you get all the cosmetics. Uh... It unlocks codes on your account that you've registered but aren't unlocked. It <laughs> Thank you, Michael. It synchronizes the user uh, if there's any problems, like removing old flags, like your daily quest from yesterday, uh, signing you up to MailChimp if you're not, uh, syncing your new starter decks if necessary, uh, tracking your last login date, clearing out some security data if it's stale, giving you a daily, giving you a weekly, giving you a special. Uh, that is too hard to see, by the way. Um, it, no one, that's not a programming screen. Okay. Uh, it, it saves your maximum number of packs you've ever had so that if you do an account reset, you get all your packs back. Uh, and this is the new code here that re oh, I can't even see it anymore because the cat just stepped away. Cat. Uh, this is the code that resets your collection. This is the code that gives the bot or developers all the cards. I like how you've uh, commented out each, like, block of code that's nice yeah it makes it a lot easier to find yeah that. look at that so that i love how that one section is just one little line save the users just so opening really. decks on tuesday barber visit on wednesday uh huh. unfortunately thorval los angeles county is under the strictest lockdown in all of the united states so uh we are not actually salons might still be open but they might also be closing tomorrow I, I'm not entirely sure because we never go anywhere. Yeah, anymore. I kind of don't pay attention. Everyone's like, oh, God, safer at home, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, we've, we've been here. Uh, unfortunately, Michael, changes. Draft and Arena and all of those are not part of the original game design document, so they do not count in this situation. That's a really good guess, though. Yeah. No, but I, I do... That is the thing that has to be worked on. I so, do yeah. want to get um, what, what, uh, Arena equivalent mode in... Uh, Maybe even by Christmas. I know that it probably won't happen, but it would be nice to like test an arena mode. It would be kind of neat. Lucky you. They open barbers here on Tuesday, so I'm going. No. Well, we have like... Stupid second lockdown. What do we have like 4,500 people getting infected every day? In this county? Yeah, in this county. Just in this county. One, or one in every 144 people are infected with COVID in Los Angeles County right now. So Los Angeles County is as big as Sweden. We have 10 million people in this one county. So if we go outside and walk the dog and we walk down the busy block, yeah. if we pass 144 people as we walk, we probably get COVID. I hope not, but- um, Well, we yeah. don't pass that many Los Angeles, Los Angeles County is the, I believe it's the most populous county in the country of the United States. Maybe New York. The county, I don't know. The, we're not, I'm not talking about like New York City, like- like or New York County. Whatever, it's not called that out there, but I don't know what- Yeah, well anyways. <laughs> uh, but I know since... this, our, our fucking, excuse me. Our city is huge, our, our county is humongous. Um, yeah. Since Thorgal is so interested in my hair, um, I, I like my hair, first off. But he's saying you have been saying forever that you are going to I cut mean, your hair this, 
done. This is kind of fun. I've never done this before in my life. Is this the longest that your hair has ever yeah, been? Yeah, by like double. Um, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's it's fabulous. Do you feel um, pretty? Do you feel like a pretty princess? So I am having fun. I do want to trim it though because it's never been trimmed. So it's just like unruly Me grunge hair. Mine. This is disgusting at uh, this point. Like, but it's insane. Look at this. The plan is still the same. Keep it on camera. The the plan is to uh, before I cut it, I'm gonna bleach it blonde and try to look as much like Kurt Cobain as possible for a little while, and then. It says like a L'Oreal advert. Yeah. <laughs> I knew what she meant. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm going to basically give myself a mohawk. Uh, the, the... I w actually really do want to see that. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, does this work? It never works for some reason. Uh, Chrome browser. Oh, God. Okay. Chrome.exe. There we go. So oh, oh, okay. It did. It actually did show up. Great. Yeah. So before I cut it, I'm basically just gonna like shave the sides and just leave a giant mohawk that's like half blonde, half grown in, total like punk rock view for a while. Which I've had similar hair in the past, but never long. Uh, I'm not gonna put it up in a mohawk, but just kind of let it hang down, which is the more like 2020 of. Effective mohawk. We are not going to take the time to actually put your hair up. No, no, I don't. Like, even, I don't want it up. I want it long, but just having the sides like, like shaped. Like this one, I get it. Basically, like this. What yeah. he has. What so. little Peep has. Had. I meant has in the photo. Rest not, in peace, little Peep. Not has in life. So yeah, that'll be fun. And then the optional part is I might dye it pink, which ironically, little Peep, little Peep did as well. I think he, he was, really had every hair color. To be fair, though. I think he was kind of. Um, he was kind of going to be the, this generation's Kurt Cobain. He was trying for it, which is why they, they even out. But he also had like a pink there for a minute. But yeah. So there you go, Thorgal. Now that you are curious about my hair journey. So we need to get started, though. We haven't even like dyed yeah. it blonde yet. So when Doom Trooper is finished and fully released and the base set is done, I will probably have hair similar to this for my, my Twitch streams. And I'll do that for probably most of 2021. And then I'll probably just cut it real normal. Can we get like, I wish we could get a, like a tattoo on the side of your head though. I mean, we can. I can get a big Doom Trooper symbol right here. How about this? No, oh no, God, no, no, no. Okay. If Doom Trooper makes me $1 million, me personally, in my bank account, two commas. Fiend, I will, good God, okay. I will get a Doom Trooper logo tattooed on the side of my head. Fine. Fine. There you go. I mean, Thorgal, it's on you, bro. <laughs> get us there to a million dollars. Oh my god. I reserve the right to get the tattoo somewhere else, but I will. <laughs> I will get. I will get a tattoo of the Doom Trooper logo when when you guys make me one million dollars. I mean, I was just gonna say if the game was just successful and and we by whatever measurement we would deem that. The tattoo. Felt <laughs> and now the fan base is doing math. Yeah, each person has to spend X amount of dollars and Justin will tattoo his face. <laughs> his head. Head. Let me yeah. be clear about that. Uh, we're way too old. Head. We're way too old for face tattoos. Instead okay? of a head, though. The time is past. Instead of the head, I think I would prefer the, a neck tattoo. Like the Doom Trooper logo, like right here. Would actually look pretty cool. Only if you actually made a million. Right. No, no, a million. Because you need to be set. So that you're not like relying on standard societal yeah. concern. You know well, what I mean? Like at, so as a reminder, <laughs> and unrelated to my million dollar bet, is um, on Tuesday we will have some packs in the store. Uh, so most likely it will start as something simple. So there'll be, uh, excuse me, whew, there'll be uh, one pack for <laughs> coins. I'm leaning towards, it'll be, um, for the beta packs, it would be 300 coins or 200 coins. I'm still deciding, but somewhere in that range. Um, there's ba obviously balance issues that have to go into play, but... Hey, Steven! Hi! But most likely the, um, the goal for post-launch is to keep it simple, where the 100 coins is a pack or $1. Is a pack 
and it's an easy math that's one to one it's me um, being awfully transparent with everybody it's like i'm not saying a pack costs 1300 gems but gems are you know 799 for 900 and then you're like shit how much does a pack cost i don't know uh steve and i kind of agreed early on that like we're not trying to do that predatory behavior and, predatory behavior and hopefully that translates to people like respecting what we're trying to do a little bit more but I think the, um, the economy is all out of whack and I'll probably get shit for that, but the beta packs per coins will probably cost a little more uh, just to balance everything out um, than the 100 as we're finishing everything. And then I will probably put um, packs of five packs for f like $5 and then maybe packs of 20 uh, for $20 and then I will put bonus packs in bonus packs. to the 20 uh so you get like 25 for 20 or something along those lines so it's a good a better value to buy more packs you know that predatory behavior i'm okay with that part uh because it's beneficial to you it's very clear it's like well if i buy one pack i get one pack but if i buy 20 packs i get 25 packs or whatever like that's a little bit better for the consumer uh, and I need to remind people, too, that the plan is still in effect that any money you spend on packs during the beta, the final reset will give you a bonus packs above and beyond the ones you bought. So even if you buy 20 and we give you 22, like, or whatever, 25, whatever we end up doing, on the final reset, where we're like, this is the last reset of your packs, say you had purchased 100 packs and then had you earned a bunch more, maybe we'll give you like 120 or 110 or whatever. Like I want to make sure that people who do trust us to spend money during the beta, like get rewarded on the final reset. And I'm going to put a banner somewhere to, to let people know. Nice. So yeah. So yeah. So I think I got everything uh, almost ready here with, like I said, the packs glow. You can open pack. I'm going to fix the UI here a little bit. I can reset your collection and it grants you, th this is just as of last night, it'll grant you the cards that are in the starter deck. Um, Seven. And then when you get new decks, as I showed earlier, it adds it to your account, but it knows the difference between cards you have and cards you don't have. So that's a big step. So I think I covered all the bases here. Uh, and the awesome part is that if I didn't, the reset is always there and it works. Like I said, I just add the flag to your account and the next time you log in, it resets everything. So if I fucked something up or something doesn't work or the collection isn't working or the rarity is bad and you're not getting the cards you expected, I can fix it. I can flag everyone for a reset and then that's it. So as of now, Exciting. and I will probably put a banner in the game, I will probably take the server down for our first like real maintenance in years. Um, at like 11 o'clock Pacific time on Monday night. So like Tuesday morning. Yeah, so from 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. Monday night. So that's like most Tuesday, likely the servers, Tuesday morning for you guys in, in Europe. Yeah, most likely the servers will go down and stay down. Uh, and I'll put an announcement up. And that will give me time to also attempt to update the server. Um, update the database if necessary, make sure it's working. I can deploy the update and then I can log in on my test accounts and make sure everything's going before I let other people back in. And then I can- Yeah, and that's Monday? Yeah. Uh, okay, no, so so just so I'm clear about my life, on Monday night at 11, you will be sitting here pushing this update. Correct. Hopefully it goes well and then we go to bed. Correct. Okay. So then at midnight, if everything was going well, then I will flip off the staff only flag, which will allow other people to log in. And then everyone can hate me for taking away their cards. <laughs> Big sucky. That's what I'm looking forward to after all this is like 100 hours of work to get all of this reset working. And then someone's gonna be like, well, it was fun when I had all the cards, but now they want me to buy things. So fuck this game. Big sucky thumbs down. Uh, That'll absolutely happen. That'll absolutely happen. Unfortunately, yeah. it will. It's going to be a thing. Also, high seven. I didn't say it, but she did. Mm -hmm. 
No so, matter how many times we say this, somebody will be upset and mad. Yeah, that's that's the fun part. Um, I can just see Tuesday, like people like Michael and Brian being like, no, no, this is by design. This is supposed to happen. We've been talking about it forever. <laughs> like to the person bitching in the general channel. Yeah, it'll be fun. Um, so <laughs> something to look forward to. What's next after this is the, I keep talking about the mission button here, will change. It'll move to the top. It'll be named Progress, mm. and it will show you basically all the things that you should or could be doing right now. Uh, and that will kind of evolve as we go. Which is great. People uh, need direction. They need to be told what to do. I was thinking the other day, I haven't talked about this yet, but I'm thinking about making special bug hunt missions or make them appear like missions, but they would show up on this page. And I can say, there's a bug with this certain card. We can't reproduce it. We can't figure out how, but if you can figure out how to reproduce it 100% of the time, you get the reward of, and it'll be like 10 packs. Or maybe it's a really bad bug and it's 100 packs. Like, we can offer bounties on Ooh. on these bugs to help people find okay, it. Okay, that's fun. But it would be listed uh, like a mission on the screen where it's very clear. Um, okay, but that's really cool to call it bounties. The other stuff that will be going live into that system will be like the reward tracks for faction rank and level rank. So it'll tell you like what you're able to earn when you level up and all that stuff. So that'll be a fun task as well as going back to regularly, like regularly working on cards. Okay, wait, Thorgal, I really like this. Is there, we have to, is there any insects in the artwork? We have to go sure. home through Paul Bonner art to find an There's a Cybertronic fly, I think. Because that would make a cool avatar and that would tie into what Thorgal is saying because that would be really fun. We do have the community avatar, which I often give to people for similar work. Like if you've contributed a lot in Discord or you find a bug, like I can grant that. But most of the regular bug hunters have already found that. Um, oh, also, uh, there are flags on your account. So and I, this is kind of copied off Discord in so many ways. Uh, but if you go into your Discord profile, there's little badges. And uh, I don't know if I can show it. Where's my Discord? Let's see. Justin. Uh, streamer mode enabled. Oh, I guess I can't. Uh, you can't show any of your my own information, which is probably good. <laughs> yeah, and it doesn't show up here for some reason. Oh, well. Well, you have. On Discord, you have your um, icons. Like I have one for Nitro because I pay for Discord Nitro. I have one for being an early adopter because I've been around since Discord was like just out of beta. Um, I have one for something else. I don't know, but there's like a bug hunter badge as well if you report bugs to Discord. So when I do the new progress uh, pane in the game, the top it shows your avatar and your default card back and that kind of stuff. Uh, but that gives me a place to put little badges and the idea was we'll have badges for alpha tester, beta tester, supporter, Kickstarter backer, developer, and other stuff. Uh, we can make a bug hunter one. So you can like earn these badges. And then later when we have public leaderboards, it would show the badges on your profile so you could brag about, you know, how cool you are and how long you've been playing the game. But we could still do an avatar as well. But I like the idea of having those little badges. Um, Maybe badges on your avatar, like they, they just show up down at the bottom just to like, like to let people know you're old school. Let people know you're old school. This gentleman is streaming right now, but he's streaming our game, but he speaks in it. He, he does his streams in Italian. He's smart though. He streams uh, right when our stream ends. So he's trying to get your guys to- Kind of genius. Come hang out with him. Yeah, it's smart. I know, uh, but we don't speak Italian. I don't know if anybody that's hanging out today speaks Italian. I don't know. I don't think so. I think everybody's either on the North American content continent. So, so once again, um, or you know, Tuesday English. is going to be when you log in for the next season. You'll also trigger the reset. Um, so we'll be down for about an hour. So if you're trying to hit some like rank one, make sure you don't do it at the last hour because you won't get a chance to. Um, 
after that goes live, I'm going to be working on the progress, uh, bug fixes of course, but the, the progress um, tab I just mentioned, which will help you guys know like what to do, what to earn. The new player experience is important, the new new player experience, to make sure that the new players can uh, get a better tutorial. And the goal is to let them earn maybe one starter deck per faction so they have things to do as they play. Um, that's a tricky one, and Thorgo, you're welcome to help with that because we want them to have a starter deck for every class, but we don't want to give them 60 times seven. What is that? I'm not four, gonna try to do that for you. 420 cards. So like, there needs to be a lot of overlap, you know, three miscommunications, three artillery supports. Like we need to make starter decks Ideally, we need to make, and I say we, I mean me, but anybody's welcome to help because uh, I'm overbooked. Uh, we need to make like a base starter deck that's like 40 cards of mostly commons and a couple uncommons. And then we throw like 15 to 20 other cards on top of that so that the decks are very similar, but they allow you to get started. That's probably our best bet. Uh, or... We do what Hearthstone does, and we just pick one faction, and we give them one faction, and that's it. Uh, but that doesn't seem like the best approach, so we'll see. Uh, so if you have any ideas on that, let me know. And then I'm going to be working on adding cards, like, weekly again. I may not patch them in every week. Uh, I may patch them in, like, the 1st and the 15th, which would fit, because on the 1st, your collections reset, and you would get the access to the new cards in your new packs. But then on the 15th, if you held on to your reset token, you could reset on the 15th to get those new cards if you wanted to. Um, every week makes it tricky because if you just opened all your packs, you might get mad that I just added your favorite card. Uh, but I should be working on them and I'll be talking about that in Discord. And that includes the new um, post-combat interrupt stage. So immediately after combat, whoever initialized the combat gets a chance to play an interrupt and whoever the other person will be able to follow. So if you have a card that says play immediately after combat, your warrior doesn't actually die. Like that's going to be the stage to play those cards as well as the cybernetic augment systems and a lot of Tomex ideas for um, like a horde mode. He's really into like this horde thing. Um, and Steve and I have talked about that basically for clansmen and Imperial and like undead legionnaires, something like that. Uh, but we'll start seeing like a finalization of all the cards, hopefully very quickly. One faction sounds easier. Yeah, um, I mean, the other option would be to make all of the decks, but let them choose which one they want, which is nice, or let them choose two, which is probably the best of both worlds. So you finish the tutorial and you're, you're given a UI screen that's like, choose your favorite factions. And then you could choose, say, Imperial and Algaroth, because, you know, squad and cohort, vintage fans like that stuff. Uh, lastly, I haven't finalized it yet, but I want to be tweaking the weekly quests and possibly adding monthly quests that... Quests are good. Uh, it's not just going to be like two packs every week. Uh, sometimes it might be one pack. There might be a rarer one that's two packs, it's harder to do but I want to start giving away more variant cards. So there's more uh, more unique stuff and maybe some unique avatars and titles and emotes and stuff like that as part of the weekly and monthly, and maybe even rarely the, da the dailies, uh, lore cards as well. So basically you'll have a little more excitement and randomness when you log in, especially if it's like this week, you have to play 25 games, but you get this rare full art animated golden lion and who knows when that'll come back but like there's nothing preventing me technology wise from adding variant cards like that's done and cards as a rewards from quests is done but it's never been used so i want to start connecting those pieces so that when you log in every day it's encouraging you to play more it's encouraging you to log in more and there's more unique rewards other than just opening but I do hope that the opening pack brings a bunch of players back because you get to start playing with an actual collection, even though it's in tech. So, as always, uh, Discord is available for feedback. Um, 
think we're about done here. We're going to go take the dog out or Julie's going to take a nap. And remember, $1 million in my bank account, Doom Trooper tattooed on me. That's, that's... Fine. It's good. Yeah. Okay with that. I totally do it. <laughs> I know you would. So, any last minute questions from anybody? Should we drop in on this again? The buck has been awfully quiet today. What's his name? Rich oh. Watama? Yeah. To be nice. Oh, they're all they're all talking in Italian too in the chat. What are we supposed to do with this? So he's got zero people. He has three. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna say nice, we're gonna say hi. <laughs> we won't know what's happening. Alright. Well, we're going to go do our thing, and then I'm going to get back to the computer and finish that pack, start adding the animations to the pack screen. Uh, feel free to hang out with me on Discord if you're around. And as always, if you have a Twitch Prime subscription, please consider donating it. If you got bits sitting in your account, feel free to throw them into our little cup over there. Um, you can get into Discord or Doom Trooper on Steam somewhere down below. Bout of depression just lurking. Sorry to hear that, Buck. Um, it's been a rough year. Yeah, it's been a rough year for a lot of us. I I don't know if you're at all interested in vitamins, um, but I've been trying to take these vitamins that are supposed to help with anxiety and dread and memory and productivity and all that. Uh, what a year, you guys. Yeah, I don't know how much it'll actually help with depression, but if it helps me with like the root cause of the things that make me sad, so... Feel free to hit me up if you have any interest in vitamins. I'm I'm not a vitamin person, but I bet you are now. Actually. 2020 has made me try it because it's, at this point it's like fuck it. I'm either gonna like do heroin or vitamins to, He's never to gonna do make heroin, myself to feel be better. So, so. And I feel like there's a lot of options in between that. Like I'm on an SSRI, so I know. I'm just fine. I'm just okay. saying, like you know, this year sucks for everybody. It does. So if it you does have, suck. If you have any interest in vitamins, hit me up. I'll let you know what I've tried. Uh, I have ran it by a few friends, and a lot of them have tried the same vitamins, which is interesting. So, uh, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and raid over to Matano since he's playing Doom Trooper. We'll support the community. Feel free to stick around. Uh, otherwise, say hi to me on Discord later, and we'll uh, we'll we'll check. Uh, I'm actually that is an issue. I'm I've... taking vitamin D too. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we should check. Wow. Yes, I I'm probably so deficient in vitamin D at this point. I think I've been out. I don't go outside. Yeah, so it's um, <laughs> it's it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys on Discord. Buck, I'll talk to you soon, and uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, good luck on Tuesday with the packs. <laughs> Cross your fingers for me. Yes. <laughs>